Now that we have understood what a polynomial is, let us look at how can we perform the basic arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of two polynomials. Let's understand this with the help of a few examples. Let's say we have got two polynomials. For example, uh, let's say the first one is 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. And the second polynomial is 2x plus 1. Alright, we have got two polynomials here, 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 and the second one is 2x plus 1. Alright, so if you look at it, we have got three terms in the first polynomial and the second one has got only two terms. So basically this is a binomial, alright. And what is the degree of the first polynomial? The degree is 2, right, the highest power here is 2, so the degree is 2. And the highest power here is 1, right, x is nothing but x power 1. So we can say this is a first degree polynomial and this is a second degree polynomial. Now let's let's look at the first and the basic operation of addition, right? Addition of two polynomials. Now this is very simple. We just need to collect similar terms, add them and find out the required answer. For example, here we have 3x squared plus 5x plus 2, the first polynomial plus the second one here is 2x plus 1. Now all we need to do is collect similar terms. If you look at it, we have got, we have got only one term of degree 2, right? Only one term where the power of x is 2. So we can directly take it as 3x squared. Now let's look at the power 1, right? 5x in the first polynomial and 2x in the second one. So add these two, 5x plus 2x. If it is minus here, we'll subtract 5x minus 2x, right? So 5x plus 2x in this case will give us 7x, right? Now go for the last uh, type of term, right? Where the power is 0. This is nothing but 2 into x power 0, right? We know that from our, uh, you know, concept of exponents that x power 0 is equal to 1, right? Any base to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we can say this is 2 into x power 0. This is 1 into x power 0. Or simply two constants, add them. 2 plus 1 will be equal to 3. So we say that 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 plus 2x plus 1 will add up to 3x squared plus 7x plus 3. As simple as that. Likewise, how do we subtract, right? Subtraction of uh, the two polynomials. Let's, let's take the same one. So 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 minus of 2x plus 1. So more or less the same, right? Arithmetic addition, here we have to just do the subtraction. So 3x squared will remain as it is, 3x squared, then 5x minus 2x will give you plus 3x and 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So this is the difference of the two polynomials. Now comes the next one, multiplication. Multiplication of two polynomials. Right? So let's take the same uh, two polynomials again, 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 1. Now what is the product here? What is the product of the two polynomials? Now this is going to be different from the earlier two cases of addition and subtraction. What do we do here? Each term in the first polynomial has to be multiplied with each term in the second polynomial. We know what a term is, right? A term is a variable or a constant or a combination of a variable and a constant, right? There are three terms here and here we have got two terms. So each term of the, of the first polynomial gets multiplied with each term of the second polynomial. Then, you know, so the first term gets multiplied with the uh, two terms in the second polynomial, then the second term gets multiplied with the two terms of the second polynomial, and then the third term of the first polynomial gets multiplied with the second term, uh, two terms of the second polynomial. So just multiply each term of uh, the first polynomial with each term of the second one. Let's do that. So let's multiply 3x squared with 2x and 1. So what is 3x squared into 2x? 3x squared into 2x. Now this is basic algebra, right? 3 into 2 is 6. x squared into x. The bases are equal and in multiplication form. The powers have to be added, right? Laws of exponents. So 3x squared into 2x will be 6x cube. This is going to be 6x cube, right? So multiply with 2x. Now multiply 3x squared with 1. What is 3x squared into 1? 3x squared as it is. Plus, now comes the second term, 5x. Multiply 5x with both the terms of the second polynomial. So 5x into 2x, 5 into 2 is 10, x into x, x squared. So this will give us 10x squared plus 5x into 1 will be 5x. And now comes the last term here which is a constant, right? A number, 2 should be multiplied with 2x plus 1. So 2 into 2x is 4x and 2 into 1 is 2. 
Now what do we do? Now that we have multiplied each term of both the polynomials, we have to collect similar terms so that this looks to be a little simpler, right? So we have only one term with x cube, so this will be equal to 6x cube plus look at the terms with power 2, 3x squared and 10x squared will give us 13x squared. Now comes power 1, 5x and 4x will give us 9x and finally we have the constant 2. So the product of these two polynomials will be equal to 6x cubed plus 13x squared plus 9x plus 2. And now let us see how do we divide two polynomials. I'll just clear this part here and we'll see how can we divide the two polynomials that we have taken. So let's look at the division of these two polynomials, right? We'll divide 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 by 2x plus 1, right? So this is a regular division process. Let's see how it works. You take 2x plus 1 as the divisor and write 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 in place of dividend. Now, how do we proceed with the division here? Let's look at it. We just need to take the first term of divisor. Here we have got two terms in the divisor. Now take the first term, which is 2x. We should multiply 2x with some other term such that we obtain 3x square. Are you able to follow? This is going to be the quotient, right? And we'll get the remainder. We may or may not get a remainder uh, towards the end of this division. Now, how do we decide the terms of the coefficient? The first term of the coefficient, when it, multi when it gets multiplied by 2x, should give us 3x squared. Are able to follow or to look at it in another way we can say what should be multiplied by 2x so that we get 3x square so whatever the term that gets multiplied by 2x will be the first term of the quotient right so 2x into what will be equal to 3x square right 2x into let's say some question mark is equal to 3x square so what is this question mark going to be 3x square divided by 2x which is nothing but 3 by 2x and see you need not do uh, all this stuff on paper uh, while doing these divisions. I'm just trying to explain it to you in detail, but you very well understand that 2x has to be multiplied by 3x by 2. So that 2 and 2 gets cancelled and x into 3x becomes 3x squared. So the first term of the quotient here will be 3x by 2. Now that we have got the first term of the quotient, let's multiply uh, each term of the divisor with the quotient. So 2x into 3x by 2. 2x into 3x by 2 will be 3x squared right the idea here is to map with the first term here 3x squared and 3x squared so 2x into 3x by 2 will be equal to 3x squared now the second term of the divisor should be multiplied with the first term of the question so 1 into 3x by 2 what is 1 into 3x by 2 it is 3x by 2 so plus 3x by 2 are able to follow 2x into 3x by 2 is 3x square 1 into 3x by 2 is 3x by 2 now like we do in the regular division subtract whatever we have got from the given uh, dividend so anyway plus 3x squared and minus 3x squared gets cancelled let's look at the second term here 5x minus 3x by 2 5x minus 3x by 2 or 5x minus 1.5x that will be equal to 3.5x right 5 minus 1.5 is 3.5 which can be taken as 7 by 2 right so 5x minus 3x by 2 is going to be 7x by 2 7x by 2 and let's take the uh, third term right what do we get 7x by 2 plus 2 all right basically this is 0 here so 2 minus uh, nothing 2 minus 0 will give you 2 now comes the next term, right? What should be the next term of the quotient here, right? What is going to be the next term of the quotient? What do we do now? See, this is the new divide, uh, dividend that we have got, 7x by 2 plus 2. Now, we need to multiply 2x with some term such that we get 7x by 2. 2x into what? Like what we have done in the earlier case. 2x into what gives us 3x squared. Now, 2x into what gives us 7x by 2. 2x into what will be equal to 7x by 2? I think 2x into uh, 7 by 4. Right? When you multiply 2x with 7 by 4, the 2 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator gets cancelled. So what are, we, what are we left with? 7x by 2. Right? So 2x into 7 by 4. Right? Understand, there is not going to be any uh, variable in the second term here. Right? Because if we take x here, 2x into 7 by 4x will become uh, 7 by 2x squared. But what we need here is 7 by 2x. Alright, so we just need to map in such a way that we get the uh, first term, right? So 2x into 7 by 4, 
2 and 4 gets cancelled. So we are left with 2 in the denominator and 7 into x is 7x. So 7x by 2. So 2x into 7 by 4 is equal to 7x by 2 plus 1 into 7 by 4. 1 into 7 by 4 is 7 by 4 as it is. Now again let's subtract. Right? Subtract what do we get? 7x by 2 and minus 7x by 2 gets cancelled. 2 minus 7 by 4. What is 2 minus 7 by 4? 1 by 4. 2 minus 7 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4. And this is the remainder. Are able to follow? This is going to be the remainder. Right? Now whatever you multiply 2x with, we cannot get 1 by 4. Now again we cannot take uh, you know 2x into let's say 2x into uh, 1 by 8x. If you take 1 by 8x here, 2x into 1 by 8x or 2x by 8x will be equal to 1 by 4 but that uh, should not be uh, taken here right we should stop uh, you know only the positive powers have to be considered so simply we say 2x plus 1 and here we have got 3x square plus 5x plus 2 as the divisor and the dividend respectively the idea here is to multiply the terms of or the first term of the divisor with some term in such a way that we get the first term of the dividend and then do the subtraction. Again we are left with 7x by 2 plus 2. Again multiply the first term of the divisor with some term 7 by 4 in our case such that we get the first term of the new divide, uh, dividend. And then when we subtract we are left with 1 by 4. So we can say 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 when divided by 2x plus 1 will give us a quotient of 3x by 2 plus 7 by 4 and this remainder 1 by 4. Alright. So this is how we can uh, divide two different polynomials right this is how polynomials can be divided